Good morning, YouTube. Today is Friday. Today is my last day at FedEx. Get a three day weekend. Get to go up to the mountains tomorrow morning. Do some hunting tomorrow. Hell yes. Yes. Start my new job. Or my, I start training on Tuesday at 7 o'clock for three days. Cannot wait. Hopefully today goes by super quick. Like I said, I'm at 47 hours right now. Um, yes, cannot wait. <sighs> today, a little bit different video. Um, me and the guy that I, uh, that was riding with me yesterday, we were talking about this and we thought it'd be a great idea. So what we thought was, what should happen is that they need to get three to four scientists who uh, talk about the vaccine, the good things about it, then they need to have a debate with three or four other scientists or, or even doctors, whoever, about the opposing opinion on it. Because there's a lot of stuff going on around uh, now that really you don't know who can be trusted and whatnot. So I think to clear the air, there needs to be um, a little bit of common ground found in this to help people make the decision on it, on if they want it or not. You already know my thoughts and feelings about it. I'm not gonna get into that because YouTube likes to, to uh, take those types of videos down because it doesn't fit their narrative or anything like that. So that, that's all I'm gonna say about that, but I think that would help people out a whole lot more. Um, Joe Rogan has had people on from both sides of the aisle, but I think what would be better if they were all in the same room talking to each other and everything just saying like no this is why you're right or this is why i'm right or no this is why i'm right so on and so forth you know let them have a full hour hour and a half two hours to discuss everything about covid um let there be questions from audience members and everything about what um just what people have questions on like i have questions on like um about you know if being if you're vaccinated and have had covid are you better are you worse or if you've already had covid but don't have your shot you know do you really still do have uh um, antibodies that help you that protect you from it how long do they last stuff like that so I think um, and I, I honestly already know the question but or already know the answer to that but still yeah I think that's something that should happen it needs to happen just to clear the air with everyone you know but uh, I just looked up on the TRX forums and there's only seven trucks that were updated my truck was not one of them so still waiting on that and I hate this waiting game was it March or February 11th already So it sounds like, um, and I'm kind of cutting off or going back and forth between stuff right now. But, um, sounds like I'll be on the same route as 
I was on the, this whole week. Um, I'll probably have a runner. Um, I, I'll probably just hook up the GoPro and do a little bit of just a run through of my last day. You know, just a little time lapse of it and everything. Just because last day and everything. But it's definitely going to be bittersweet leaving. I got my coffee up with me today. Finally made coffee. Nice fresh brewed. Nice and warm. You gotta have that coffee. You gotta have that coffee. You gotta have that caffeine in me. It's so much better with it, that's for sure. But anyways, let me know what you think about what I said about COVID and everything. Doctors, scientists getting together and just debating head to head. Have uh, moderators from both sides of the aisle asking the questions and had just have a full-on uh, uh, debate about it make it televised and everything for the whole world to see just so we have the truth um, also want to get into uh, this whole convoy situation I believe fully and 100% what the truckers are doing um, I think it's funny how people now are bringing in gas cans, jerry cans, empty gas cans, because they said uh, if you're caught bringing in gas, you will be, I think, uh, fined or arrested for doing it. And it's just the biggest troll event I have ever seen. It is hilarious. If you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend looking it up and finding it and watching it for yourself because it's just hilarious. Um, because I believe what these truckers are doing are standing up for our rights. I know there's going to be a convoy here going from California to Washington, D.C. I think starting in uh, March or... I think it's starting in March. And... They have my full 100% support. I don't believe anything that the media is telling us that they're causing all these mass uh, distribution crisis, food, uh, food not making it to the shelves, which is BS. Um, we've had these issues forever. It's not them. Um, it all started with the, the ports being shut down and everything. And if Biden was such a great president, and Andy Priscilla said this first back in, uh, I believe, uh, June, like if Biden was a great president, he would bring in the National Guard and the military to go to these ports and unload these trucks. Make them go to work. That's what they're there for, to help the American people out. But yeah, if uh, Biden was such a great president, he would have sent in the National Guard and all these go Democratic governors would have sent, activated the National Guard and sent in, sent in the hospitals. Because what are they, what's the National Guard going to do in hospitals? Nothing. They can't give you any medication. They can't, they, all they can do is write down your name and give you basic necessities. Blankets, food, stuff like that, you know. Put them to work, put them to good use, take them down to these ports, and let them unload the freaking ships. You know? 
But anyways, I'm gonna cut this uh, morning video short a little bit. I'm already at 10 minutes right now. So I will hook the GoPro up in the truck when I get into work and do a nice little send off today for it being my last day. I will see you guys later. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they scheme Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they scheme Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some meat us to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything Everything just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame All game, no shame, baby came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine
I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on and Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want I'll keep dreaming on That's it. I am done with FedEx. All done. It's, uh, what time is it? 6.15. Now I'm heading to the store to get my phone plan changed once again. Because T-Mobile fucking sucks. So I'm switching over to AT&T where I know that I'll have uh, service out in the fucking wilderness where I'll be out tomorrow. Oh. It was good day, 130 stops. Uh, average about 16 stops an hour. And uh, my boss called me up earlier today and wanted just want to say thank uh, thank me for coming back in the summer because I did you know leave for a little bit because I was planning on moving to Florida. And helping them out and everything and he says that I'll always have a job here if you know if it doesn't work out um, at the post office so I really appreciated that you know so yep he's definitely one of the better bosses I've ever worked for so you know you definitely gotta you gotta find those they're probably one in a million or one in a thousand but they're they're definitely out there you know find those um, employers that know your worth um, and will treat you right and treat you good and everything and that, that's what he did for me um, but you know like I said you gotta do what you gotta do and found a job that hopefully fits for me um, I, I like delivering and everything they just have the benefits if they would have benefits and 401ks and retirement stuff you know, I, I would even think about leaving. You know, there, if the, if you were to offer me it tomorrow, I'd be like, okay, yep, I'm coming back. <laughs> See you on Monday, pretty much. You know, <laughs> so that um, it is what it is. You know, I'm excited for myself and my family. Uh, starting again, starting a new chapter in my life, but this. It's gonna be a little bit longer video. I'll try to trim some of the um, the time lapse down a little bit for you guys, so it's not like a whole like 15, 20 minute, however long it ends up being. Um, but yeah, um, I won't post anything tomorrow. Uh, I'll post videos probably Sunday, just with the hunting the hunting trip and everything so that being said i will see you guys later peace